Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I haven't posted in a while and um, it kind of got a little crazy with school and everything. So I was just trying to keep myself together because I still had work, we still had clinicals, keep you updated on the clinicals with the whole COVID thing going on. But um, yeah, so these past couple weeks have been definitely insane. We've had like exams back to back. So like we have lectures Monday through Wednesday and I kid you not, we had an exam on Monday for one class. On Tuesday, we had like two exams for two different classes. So that's like three exams right there for three different classes. So, you know, it's hard trying to keep up with stuff that's from different classes and you know you want to be prepared it's the end of the semester so you know the last thing you want to do is completely you know do terrible on an exam and then you're trying to wet do a catch-22 you know and see if you're going to be able to pass for the semester or not so i was just trying to keep up with all that stuff but everything's been going good so far just very stressful um now to catch you guys up on clinical Clinical is canceled. I have a feeling it's going to be canceled for the rest of the semester. The COVID cases have just been going up. And our last clinical week was the week before Thanksgiving. Because this week we have off from clinical because we Thanksgiving was on Thursday. So it's canceled until December 7th. And then they're going to let us know if we can go back to the hospitals for clinical. But I have a very big feeling that we're not going to go back this semester and we may have to postpone until next semester which kind of sucks because it's just going to prolong our graduation but what are you going to do we're in the middle of a pandemic and we're healthcare we're going to be potential healthcare workers so you know it just comes with the territory but yeah, um, I just submitted an essay that was due for my online class, so that's out of the way. I hate writing essays and stuff like that. So now I'm kind of doing one project that's fun. It's called an image eval. So our professor sends us an image and we have to evaluate us. And this is kind of like the paper that she gives us. Um, I just filled it out with notes and stuff like that. If you see, like... It just lists a bunch of different things like your EXI number, your contrast, density, and then down here has like if it's collimated correctly, if there's any angulation, distortion, stuff like that. So yeah, um, this one's a little bit fun because, you know, no one likes writing freaking essays. They suck, but you know, this is actually something that I do enjoy. I will show you my image one second. So this is the current image that I have for my image eval. And if you guys notice, it's like super blurry, but it's like not blurry. Like the picture isn't blurry. Like literally, like if you look at the marker, it's like distorted. So I already emailed my professor about this and told her like, listen, the picture is like, not right. It's the marker is blurry. If the picture was blurry, then the marker would be fine, right? No, it's literally jacked up. So I emailed her about this and I'll fill you guys in on what she said. So like I was saying, I emailed her about it and I was like, look, you know, if the picture was blurry, then the marker would be fine, right? No, the, everything's like completely blurry and it's hard to like see. I'm not sure if it's the way that she sent it or what the case may be. So I emailed her about it and she was like really cool. So she emailed me again and sent me another picture because my last one was an AP portable chest. This one is different from the last one. And um, she literally sent me the same exact picture like the same issue that was going on and I was like are you serious so I'm gonna see if I can like go on like an app or something and get it unblurred or if not I'm just literally gonna rock with how it is I mean it may be a little bit harder to point out things but I mean I've already emailed her and I've already zoomed her during her office hours about it so you know I'm not gonna bother her again with it but yeah that's what I'm gonna end up doing today I'm gonna try and get a good portion of it I already have like everything like my notes and stuff like that that me and my clinical mates went through while we had some downtime at the hospital so 
I'm just gonna see if I can get that done today. Um, yeah, so that's a little crazy. Clinical canceled. You know, not sure what's gonna go on for these next couple weeks. Um, it's gonna be nice though, cause towards the end of the semester we have finals, we have projects that are due. So I need to get that out of the way. So Thursday and Friday will give me extra time to get these stuff done when we were originally at clinical from eight to four. So yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Let's see. Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but now that the holidays are coming to an end and the semester's over, I decided to hop back on here and kind of give you a recap of how my first semester of x-ray school ended. So last time it that I left off was I was telling you guys that clinical got canceled. We didn't know what was going to happen. Cases were going up in COVID. Hospital numbers were spiking up. So um, the hospital decided to shut down and not allow students on there. Well, that only lasted for about a week and we ended up going back to the hospital. So it was a week before Thanksgiving. Um, we got the call that we couldn't go back on, uh, back to clinical because the numbers were rising for COVID. So um, it was fine because we already had had one break off for Thanksgiving. So we were kind of just like, you know, are we going to be done for the semester? Like what's going to happen with our comps that we need to complete or whatever? But everything ended up working at the end because after our one week off from clinical that we were already originally going to have for Thanksgiving break, um, we got the call that we could go back to clinical, even though the numbers were pretty high. But it worked out for us because I got all my comps and I needed. I needed three chests and I needed three abdomen and I got exactly that, three chests and three abdomens. So I finished, thankfully, all my comps for the semester. So that was like one less thing I had to worry about. Because if you didn't finish your comps for this semester, then you were going to end up getting an in-progress grade. And then you were going to have to tack that on to next semester. And we kind of have like a lot that we need. I think there's like 12 comps or something we need for next semester. So I was like, it's one less thing I have to worry about. Um, let's see, all the classes I did pretty good. I passed every one, got an A in one class, and then for the three other ones that I was taking, I got Bs, so I'm pretty stoked for my first semester of x-ray school to, you know, get good grades and didn't fail out, even though we had a couple people, you know, slowly shy away from our Zoom classes, and we all know what it was, but I mean, at the end of the day, you really don't know what you're getting yourself into until you're actually in it and you're like wow this is like a lot more work a lot more responsibility than i was thinking that i was gonna have but you know it's just something that comes with the territory and you'll figure it out quickly like it, it's definitely hard material especially as a first year you don't know anything so yeah that was something but i'm glad that's all over with um, for next semester, I'm already registered. I am taking Rad Bio. Let's see what we have here. Equipment Operations. And I'm taking my Rad Procedures class too, which is nice because the first semester, they had us taking like eight classes. Okay, so we had like four like classes like that were lecture. And then we had like four labs. So like each, you know, course had like a lab with it so it was very like you know time consuming and especially like when you're not used to taking that many classes you know it can get a little like you know overwhelming at first but this semester they definitely cut down so we are, we're only taking one two three so three and then an additional lab so four classes in total which is crazy and then um clinical too I'm not sure what's going to happen for a spring semester clinical. Um, they haven't said anything that, you know, it's going to get canceled for next semester. So, you know, fingers crossed because we really, I, I mean, at least I don't want to tack on extra clinical time at the end of the semester that I'm going to have to end up making up in the summer when we're already on summer for like six weeks or something like that. So, yeah, that's something. Uh so I know I kind of went over my image eval and I was going over like the picture with you guys and I was saying how it was like very like grainy and stuff like that. 
So I didn't end up editing it or anything because I didn't want to take away from like the original image that she sent me. So she knows I didn't like try to tamper with it to kind of make it easier for myself. So I just left it how it was. And I was super, super nervous because we didn't go over image evals in our lab. So it was kind of like everything was new to me. And then once we submitted the image eval was when we went over it in lab and she was like, okay, so this is what all the geometric properties are gonna be. These are what all the photographic properties are gonna be. And I was like, it would have been nice if kind of like lab and lecture were just like mirrored each other. Like we went over that and then we had to submit the um, image eval because I submitted the image eval and I was I was feeling so unconfident I was like this is terrible like I can't believe I just submitted this like am I gonna get a bad grade I just I don't know I just... okay I literally cannot be the only person who gets like so weirded out when like people are home and you're just trying to film like you know a simple youtube video or whatever so i was like you know what we're about to change locations because my mom came home early from work and i was like mm, yeah i don't want her to hear everything that i was saying about school but anyways as i left off i was talking about my film eval Ooh, okay this man better learn how to ride a bike anyways <laughs> um so I was talking about my film eval and I was saying how like I was so nervous because I was like, I don't know how it's gonna go. Like I felt like she was gonna be such a stickler with like how it's graded and stuff like that. But surprisingly, she was, she went easy on me. She just said that I should just cut down um, my audios because it had to be done on PowerPoint and each slide had to be narrated so she was like you should probably cut down on your narrations because they were like two minutes each and just try to like stick to one thing you know and be like concise with it so i was like all right and i got a 95 out of 100 so that's pretty good compared to like what other people got and i was like freaking out a little bit but honestly it really wasn't that bad thank the lord but yeah, other than that, um, I'm trying to think. All my finals went, like, okay. I mean, I didn't, like, kill the park on, like, all the finals. But, I mean, I passed the class, and that's all that matters at this point. Like, you're just trying to survive is what it is. Like, I feel like the mindset out here of, like, oh, my God, I have to get, like, the best grades, and I have to do this, and I have to do that you know, at the end of the day, you're just trying to survive out here and make it to the next semester because you can easily be booted out of the program. And that's just how it is. And of course, everyone and their mother decides to be on the road. So I was like, you know what? Let me put my camera down before I get into an accident and kill someone. So um, we're at Dollar Tree right now because I was like, you know what? If I'm going to leave the house and I'm going to film, I might as well get something. So I'm trying to get like organizational like bins and stuff like that from my closet because like it's just like an absolute disaster. So we're going to go to the Dollar Tree right now. That's where we're at. We're going to go. And as you can see, they're building a Taco Bell because you can hear it, the construction man over there with whatever toy he has. So let's go to Dollar Tree and get what we need. It is absolutely freezing outside, but I got a couple little goodies at the Dollar Tree. So I got these little bins for my closet because honestly my closet is a disaster and I need like some organizational things. And I saw these baskets with this nautical rope. I saw it on like a YouTube video of like some girl crafting away so i was like you know what i want to try and see if i can make like a cute basket with like nautical rope on it and then maybe like display it in my room or just like have it as another like organizational um thingy for my room but yeah anyways that was my haul at the dollar tree um <laughs> i'm like terrible at these because i was like I had my whole setup at home and then like someone came home and then I was like, all right, I feel awkward um, vlogging while someone else is home. So yeah, that's it. Um, my life is just going to enjoy being off from school for a little bit. And on top of that, working up a couple more hours at my job to uh, kind of 
help myself because I only work the weekends and I used to work full time at my job. So I was like, uh, I figured I might as well pick up some extra shifts while I'm not in school. But that's going to be short lived because January 20th, it's back to the grind and back to my second semester of x-ray school. So if you guys enjoyed, please subscribe, like the video, comment. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great couple days of holidays. We have Christmas that already passed. Now we have the new year coming up. Everyone enjoy, stay safe, wear a mask, and yeah. Bye guys.